Hi, this is Muhammad Imran. I am here with you with yet another video. CV is a longer synopsis of your academic and educational background that also includes your research experience, your publications, awards, honors, technical skills, and additional details. In Australia, to get admission in MS, PhD, or postdoc, CV is a crucial document. There is no specific format for CV, but the format that I am going to present you is most accepted and is provided by most of the universities as a template format. So let's start the video. In the start, you need to write the name, first name and the last name and then you need to write the address, your mobile number with uh, your country code, your ORCID address. If you have, if you don't have, you can also write Google Scholar address, uh, LinkedIn address or any other social media account if you have. Then you need to write your email address. The first thing which we write in our CV is education. Write in reverse chronological order, include the degree award, the institution where you studied and when you studied. If you apply, if you're going to apply for postdocs, you need to provide the detail of your doctoral and um, masters. If you are going to apply for PID, you need to provide the detail of your masters and bachelor. And if you are going to apply for master, you need to provide the detail of your bachelor's degree. So here is the format to provide the detail. For example, the candidate have done master of science research environmental science in the badge of 2016 and 17 then write the name of the university and the name of the country also put a uh, full stop here then you need to provide the thesis topic here is the thesis topic of that uh, candidate and you need to provide the details detail about the degree that uh, it was two year program full time or part time length of the thesis undertaken over two semesters this is the detail of your thesis examiner reported include in application in this interdisciplinary research project there is a little you can see that uh, you need to provide a brief summary of your research uh, uh, thesis work here then you need to provide uh, the name of your supervisor and in the same format you can provide the detail of your bachelor degree as well. Now move toward the professional experience. For relevant professional or employment experience write in reverse chronological order job, title, organization and date normally month and year so if you have a professional experience you can write here in this format then move toward the research experience i want to add here that if you do not have research publications then and if you have a research experience in terms of working in a organization or as a research assistant that also count as a publication. So if you have such experience, you should add this experience. You must use the following format if you have research experience that you want to consider in case of HDR program, higher degree research program, admission, scholarship. Write in reverse chronological order, include job title, organization and date normally month and year and also provide an outline of research activity please note in order to be considered as evident toward the scholarship consideration 
the research activity must have been sustained part time or full time over a period of 6 month or so and should be relevant to your proposed area of research so if it meet this criteria then you will be awarded a uh, number in australia there are 30 marks for uh, publication and research experience for example this candidate a uh, work from september 2015 to till now as a research assistant to professor the name of the professor then you need to write the name of the school and name of the university and the name of the country and here is the brief description of the responsibility that uh, he or she uh, perform the working as a research assistant let's move to our next part that is skills and competencies this is also a very important uh, section of the cv in this section uh, can be used if there are usually technical skills or competencies that you possesses and that are directly relevant to your field of research or research methodologies that you uh, you will be employing in your research project for example an applicant is looking to undertake the pid program in an area of uh, field of nanotechnology he or she may wish to use this section to outline technical and lab based skills and expertise that are highly relevant and demonstrate competency in processes involved in the area of research so uh, he he or she may write nanoparticle growth techniques thin film growth by magnetron spotter e beam and electro deposition techniques nano wise growth by template method arc melting and cast method for preparation of bulk metallic glass density functional theory calculation using wasp or if if uh, he or she want to add some characterization techniques like uh, sam cam xrd he or she may add this technique uh, as well yeah Uh, here you can also write if you have some software skills to deal with the softwares for example if you want to interpret the same image you must have to learn about the uh, software image j to interpret the scales and the size uh, size of the particles and also if you want to uh, optimize the condition for the senses of the nanoparticle Uh, for example if you uh, if you synthesize the nanoparticles from the plant extracts or uh, using a living organism you need to optimize the condition you can also use the different uh, optimizing softwares like design expert so you can also write here in the in the section of research publication you must uh, use the following format if you have research publication that you want to consider in a case of higher degree research program admission or scholarship if you wish to include evidence uh, evidence of creative output publication please follow the section at the end of the cv model to you help to provide this evidence list all publication eligible for inclusion as a research publication publication can be listed group together by type publication uh, journal article conference proceeding book chapters and then in reverse chronological order for each publication include a full publication reference as set out below in a reference style appropriate to your discipline area if you published as a part of a team list all authors and highlight your own name in the sequence for example uh, the type of the publication may you write uh, journal publication book chapter conference paper in proceeding scholarly monograph reference publication only published 
publications that have been through a scholarly peer review process are accepted as evidence toward the higher degree research program and scholarly eligibility. Here I want to add that only that publication is accepted or considered for higher degree research program that undergo through the peer review system. So if the publication not do not undergo the peer review, it will not be considered, uh, will not be count for higher degree research program. Uh, so you need to submit your research papers in uh, peer review journals. There is a international standard serial numbers. Please note that some publication types, books, chapter may not have uh, international standard serial numbers. You can also write a URL. If your publication cannot be assessed via URL, please either include in your application a copy of publication. Uh, this is the specific in, uh, specification that you can provide. Or longer publication, please include the copies of the page that detail the bibliographic information of the publication. You can also provide the digital object identifier number, DOI number. Uh, you can also provide uh, impact factor and citation, number of citation. Impact factor, uh, here I also want to add that if you can provide uh, the quartile ranking of the journal is very important. Either the journal is Q1, Q2, Q3, uh, up to Q3 journals are acceptable and uh, uh, um, is counted and uh, number of citation also count uh, uh, for, to increase or enhance the impact of the publication. Authorship statement, uh, there is a statement also uh, written in the research publication that uh, normally uh, some people just write that all author contribute equally or sometimes there is a division of labor uh, in doing the publication if you have done the work in the group uh, someone has do the methodology part someone has do the literature review part someone has do the uh, writer part so you need to provide a hundred word statement uh, about your contribution in this publication so now there is another section you can add here other publication that are not categorized as a research output of your purpose of consideration towards a case of higher degree research program admission and scholarship eligibility may be listed in this section particularly if they are related to your area of research this might include government awards textbook instructional text now in this section uh, you can enlist the conferences and workshop you have attended give a detail of any conference at which you have present papers or deliver poster presentation if you have already recorded the conference proceeding in the research publication section. Do not record the detail of your conference in this section as well. You could use this section to list any courses or workshop related to your area of research which you have attended. In this section, you can provide if you have earned or hunt any scholarship in the past, doing bachelor's on scholarship, doing uh, a master's on scholarship, doing PID on scholarship, you can list here any grant or funding source uh, that you have been awarded. You provide the award and for how much and what role did you play in securing it, when was the award bestowed. So you need to provide these details. In the last section of your CV, you need to provide the referees uh, carefully and contact them in advance. They must be able to discuss your research capacity and capabilities. Ensure that before you list a referee, you have his or her approval. Because in some universities, they just need a reference letter that was provided by a professor in a hard form with a sign stamp, uh, but in some cases 
but in uh, in Australia, in the most of the cases, university uh, take the detail of that professor uh, and uh, uh, send direct email to that professor uh, to write a reference, a referee report online. So you need you should be careful uh, in choosing the referees. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Allah Hafiz.